Good morning everyone and welcome to All Walk Spain hashtag the lockdown challenge. I'm Craig and today we're going to be doing lower body hit workout. So you've been following me on this now. We started doing these seven exercises, 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off. I think it was about two weeks ago. And now already we're at the maximum of 60 seconds. That was our target, wasn't it? To get to 60 seconds per exercise with 15 seconds rest. Today is a day, lower body. 60 seconds exercise, 15 seconds rest. Work really hard on this. What I'm gonna do after these set of exercises, after this lower body, and tomorrow when we do the upper body, I'm gonna introduce a new set of HIIT training exercises, and we'll do that again. We'll introduce them, and we'll build them up to a target. And we'll keep doing that for as long as it takes, and as long as you people keep watching, and keep giving me a thumbs up. So, lovely day here in Spain today. Gonna to make the most of this taking in the vitamin D, breathing in the fresh air, and we're gonna have a great workout. Today we're gonna to start with the jumping squats. Then we're gonna go on to high knees. Remember the high knees, you can either jog on the spot high knees, or you can just raise your high knees. Then we'll be doing a plank. Then we'll be doing calf raises. Then we'll be doing side lunges. And then we'll finish with that static squat to really sap all the energy out of us and make sure we've got a good workout. It's a minute this time, guys. So remember, a minute, a 60 seconds. Might be a bit longer than the than um, you're used to, but let's make that body work. So starting with the jump squat, remembering we're gonna be doing it nice and controlled, quality over quantity, making sure we go nice and low and we jump up high as well. Remembering to breathe all the way throughout. Notice going nice and low, nice jump, not racing away, because this is gonna be a minute. And for some of you, that might be a bit too much. So all I'd say is don't stop. Slow down, but don't stop. That's really important. Remembering to breathe, getting the oxygen into the system to oxygenate the blood, which then carries that around all the muscles and prepares the muscles for work. And already, We've only got 20 seconds left, so well done. It's a hard exercise to start with. She's a dynamic technique on the thighs. You should feel them thighs starting to burn. Nearly there, last five seconds. Well done, shake them legs. You feeling that? Right burn to start it off. Really good. Now we're gonna be doing the lunges. Side on. So remember with the lunges, we're not smacking our knee off the floor. We're keeping our back upright. We're keeping our hands away from the legs. Really want them legs to work. And we're making sure the lead knee doesn't cross the toe. Another great exercise for the, for the quads. And a bit for the glutes and the hams as well at the back. How are you finding that? Remembering to breathe. Well done everywhere. Good. 15 seconds rest, high knees. Starting to feel the burn in the quads. I am. Okay, ready for the high knees. Quality, not quantity. Let's do this. Nice and high. You should notice that as the couple of weeks have gone by, if you've been following these exercises, that you're becoming more supple with the hamstrings and glutes, and that you can lift your legs further up than what you may have been able to do before. Even just doing the steps, it's a good range of movement, a nice full range of movement, and your body benefits from it. 
Remember, if we don't use, we lose. And making sure we put the body through the full range of exercise and movement prevents and reduces the opportunity for aches and pains, stiffness of joints, and weakness in muscles. Five seconds left, that's all. Really well done. Next is the plank. This is for core, this is the plank. Remembering how you're doing it. In a plank position, on your knees you find it difficult, bum in the air you find it difficult. So you're gonna be doing this for a minute. So in position, remembering to take time to do your breathing. Some people find it easier if you push back on your toes. And trying to tense that core muscle, you'll feel it. Like I said, when you start to shake, that's the muscle, your muscle starting to fatigue, which is great. It means you're working. You're not sat on your bum, drinking beer or sangria. And do that later, in moderation, of course. Well done. You feeling it? When you're feeling it, keep holding it a bit longer. We're nearly there. You're doing very well. If you've been keeping up to this to date, then respect to you. It's easy to sit at home and do nothing. This is what makes the difference though. Exercises like this make the difference of us looking our age and not looking our age. There we go. That was a minute. Well done. Half raises next. Looks an easy exercise, but like I said before, just because it's small movement doesn't mean you're not working. Remembering to clench them calves as you go up. If you need to hold on to something, then that's fine, hold on to something. When you go down, try not to rest all your weight on the heel. So you're keeping time under tension, which is very good for the muscles. We're my isogenics top again today. Always got to promote a fantastic nutritional system whenever I get a chance. For the past year, it's done wonders for me and I've seen it do fantastic things for scores of other people as well. For any information on a natural nutrition system, it comes with a 100% money back satisfaction guarantee. Then just give me a call guys, we can talk about it. Because you're 80% what you eat, 20% what you do. So this exercise is great, really good for you, but you need proper nutrition. And if you're eating junk and processed food and crap, you're not gonna get to where you wanna be. Nutrition is so, so important. Okay, side lunges now. Really wanna feel that stretch on the inside of the leg. See if you can get lower and do great techniques. So, come down nice and low. Keeping the hands off the legs nice and low. Sink it down. Feeling that stretch. There it is. Good. Really good stretch, this. It's not a stretch we get to do naturally with walking or biking. So it's important that we do this stretch quite regular to maintain the suppleness of these muscles. That's halfway through already. We've got one exercise after this, and then you guys have completed the hit lower body 60 seconds workout. Like I said, next time it'll be a totally different workout. We'll aim for something different, we'll start off low and we'll work our way up. Progressive training, that's the key. Another minute gone. Down to our last exercise, guys and girls. This is the killer. This is the squat. It's gonna sap that energy. It's gonna burn, but stick with it. Stick with it. So going down, keeping them thighs parallel to the floor. Trying to keep the back straight. Don't do this. No good at all. Nor this, it's gotta be this. Okay? Deep breaths. Your muscles now more than ever need that oxygen in the blood flowing around that body. 
That's halfway through already. Well done. This one's really going to sap the energy out of you. But just think, what else would you be doing today? Sat on your bum. Nearly there. Great work. Feel them thighs, man. You find it easy, lean back a bit. Hold on, don't stop now. Don't stop, it's the last five seconds. Four, three, keep at it, two, one. Ding, ding. Well done, guys. Well done, girls. You just completed the lower body 60 second hashtag the lockdown challenge.